Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have one final diamond painting unboxing to do. I have no more coming. That is so sad. No more AliExpress mail to look forward to. None coming from Amazon. Uh, but with my humongous stash over there, I really don't need any more coming. But it's still depressing. <laughs> so, let's get into this. And let's take a look. All right. Now, this is a special diamond drill um, diamond painting. And I had gotten, uh, I didn't uh, check out the prices. I will leave um, all the information down below in the description. This uh, was a really, really good deal. I had seen it on another diamond painting channel, and I, boy, I'm really doing good. I can't remember what channel it was, but uh, it was just, you know, for, it was, you know, under 10 bucks. I can't remember exactly what it was. But again, I will leave that information down below. I did get it off AliExpress, so I will leave a link down below to where I got this from. And I just thought it was so pretty. It's just a small, special diamond peacock. It's a 30 by 40, so it's not super small. Some of them we get are, you know, really, really tiny, you know, 25 by 25s. Um, but it does go this way. And, you know, so many times on these smaller ones, you get the key down here in the lower left and in the upper right. On the ones where you really don't need it on both, even though I do appreciate it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but on my very large diamond paintings, like my 60 by 80s, um, it really would be nice to have this and then they don't do it. They only put it up here and of course your key is actually very small. On here they are nice and big. They are all symbols. There are no letters or numbers which you know really doesn't bother me and it seems with these special uh, diamond Diamond paintings, you do get that because they have to be able to represent these special diamonds in a little bit different way. So, of course, these large blue ones are, you know, a large blue symbol. So, I mean, there there is a method to their madness. <laughs> it does have the clear... Um, covering, which I personally don't like. Yes, it, it is definitely an advantage that you can see your diamond painting, and that's why I know a lot of you do like it, and that is very true. That That is the nice part about the clear, but I just don't like the sound of it, and I don't like working on a diamond painting with this covering, so I always... Uh, replace this with the parchment paper squares and if anybody wants links to the squares that I have you get them off Amazon any different kind of size I think I have six by six inch squares or six and a half I'm not sure but I can leave you a link down below if you're interested in those canvas is quite sticky doesn't seem quite as sticky though as some of my other ones though and especially with these large special drills you would think you know because you don't want them to come off it doesn't seem quite as sticky as some of the other diamond paintings that I have gotten hmm I mean it's still sticky don't get me wrong and it should stick on here just fine especially if you seal it afterwards um, so let's go ahead. That's, that's the canvas itself. It is kind of wrinkled because it did come folded up, but if you put it under some heavy books before you work on it, that should flatten it out pretty nicely. I know some people do iron theirs. I had tried that once a while ago on one of my diamond paintings, and I don't think I did it right because it really didn't do 
much <laughs> for the canvas itself, but there are quite a few uh, YouTube videos out there. You can just do a search on YouTube and it will come up with some uh, different videos on ironing your diamond painting. There are some different methods and, and uh, I think if I would have used a different method, it maybe would have worked better. So if I ever have a canvas where I just cannot get it flattened out underneath heavy books or you know, whatever weight you have, I'll probably go back and look for some of those videos too and see if there's something else I can do. So with that being said, you get your standard kit, black tweezers, plastic tweezers in here. Everybody's got a gazillion of them. Okay, unless you're just starting. I have a filing cabinet half full of them, <laughs> which I should get in there and organize one of these days, put all the boats, stack the boats together, get the wax all together. I know many of you have yours all organized like that, and I just have not gotten around to that. So, let's look at these pretty ones. There's one or a couple particular gems in here that really caught my eye and which is why I really wanted this. And your, the ones that come in the strip are all your round uh, rhinestones and then the special ones come separate. So here we have pretty blue ones and the thing about this gold foiling on the front, it is near impossible to see what color number that is. I mean, even in camera, you can't see it. You really have to hold it at an angle and then you can see what number it is. This is number 20. Um, so yeah, it's really, really hard to see the number on here. So that's why I don't like this gold on here be different if they printed in black ink then on here but they don't here's a beautiful royal blue let's come in a little bit and then we have the gold ones yellow oh look at that pretty color oh that's pretty i like that some pretty aqua. Of course, in a peacock, we would have quite a few of them. And then, oh, deeper aqua, almost teal. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then uh, the emerald green. Aren't these colors so pretty together? And then tons and tons of silver. So this will be beautiful, sparkly peacock. It is a full drill. Yeah, it is a full drill for the most part. There are some, you know, behind here uh, where you place this. And then there's some around it that you don't drill. But for the most part, it is pretty much a full drill. So let's look at the special ones. We have some AB drills, which I've gotten some questions in the past. What, what are AB drills? I keep hearing you guys talk about AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and we all know that that is the northern lights, right? And they're shimmery and shiny and reflective. That's pretty much what these AB gems are. They are reflective with like different colors floating in it, kind of like when you see oil in water, how you see the different colors swirling around. That's kind of what the AB gems are. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. I think on these blue ones, you can see it a little bit better. Can you see how there's like iridescent um, greens and pinks in there? That's what the Aurora Borealis, the AB gems are. Typically, you only see these in rounds. However, I did just see a video out there. Um, it's the only one I've seen. I have to go back and watch it. 
somebody had some square AB gems, and I've never seen that before. So I do want to go back and look at that. Otherwise, most all of your AB gems are rounds. So yes, they are just gorgeous. Okay, now on to the really neat stuff. Look at these. Are those not pretty? I don't know if you can see all the shimmery, like diamond type AB gems around the middle. It's kind of bright, isn't it? It's not that bright in here, but the sun is actually shining outside and it's beautiful. Okay, so yeah, they are just gorgeous. And this is why I wanted this diamond painting. <laughs> We have some small teardrop, and they also look like AB. There's some different colors shimmering in there. And then, along with the smaller um, drills like these, you also have some larger ones. And again, you have the little AB gems around the outside that just shimmer and are gorgeous. So you can see these smaller ones are going to be going on the pinks and then the larger ones would be going on the blues at least that's what i'm assuming let's look at the key yx060 yes and then yx061 yes that's the pinks 072 i'm assuming must be these yep and that is the green ones so isn't that going to be stunning? Another one. I want to start right away, you know? All of us, I think, as we open so, so many of these pretty diamond paintings, it's like, okay, I want to kit this up and do this right now. <laughs> and then you get another one, you're like, oh, I want to do this right now. <laughs> you can't do all of them right now, right? Uh, so... I guess that is the end of this video. I think, again, this is just going to be stunning. And yes, I will leave all the information down below. The price that I'm going to put in there, keep in mind, that is going to be the price of as of today when uh, I get this video edited and, and uploaded. Um, and that price is definitely subject to change. I know YouTube doesn't typically like us to put any prices in our stuff, um, our videos, because prices always change, especially on Amazon, but, you know, everywhere else we know prices fluctuate. So the price that I put in there is going to be an approximation um, as of now. Um, so I will put the, uh, like I said, the AliExpress link in there. I put, will put the seller's name and all of that information down below in the description. Um, again, if you want any links to, uh, like the, um, what am I thinking? The, uh, blah, blah, parchment paper squares, um, or anything else that I use, um, that you've seen in past videos, just let me know and or send me an email. My email is down in the description also, and I will be happy to help you out. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel, and as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.